Let's take a look at Lightroom and Photoshop focus stacking capabilities to create this image. These original images are what we use to focus stack. They were shot on a tripod with the leftmost being focused on the foreground, then the mid distance focus, and finally the background focus on the right. Before focus stacking, let's first do some brief editing of the image and enter the develop module and change the profile to Adobe Landscape just to enhance the colors initially. Let's do a little bit of exposure control as well to improve the image. I'll use the Alt key just to prevent any clipping and give me a really good perspective on the adjustments that I'm making to the actual in underlying image. And we'll also make a subtle adjustment to the contrast. We'll also make some adjustments to the highlights too. We want to make sure the sky doesn't get completely burnt out in the final image. The reason for making these changes now will become apparent, but what I will be doing is very shortly sync in this one set of adjustments across to the other two images. It's preferable to do this now rather than after the image focus stack as it gives us an idea of how the final image will look. Let's also just make some changes to the presence by changing the clarity, the dehaze, the vibrance and the saturation just to bring the colours of the image out a little bit more. These adjustments that we're making now conclude the editing process in preparation for the synchronization and then the focus stack process, which we'll be moving on to right now. Let's now synchronize those adjustments to the other two images. First, by selecting the three images, right click, choose develop settings and sync settings. Once that comes up, just keep the options unchanged and click synchronize. Those are then copied across to the other two images. So we have all three images with the same adjustments. Now that we've got our images how we want them in Lightroom, let's now launch them into Photoshop. Select the images, right click and do edit in. And it's important that we do open as layers in Photoshop. And that launches Photoshop for us. With our three layers now in Photoshop, what we need to do is align them to make sure that they're ready for focus stacking. So let's select our three layers from our original three images. We go up to edit and auto align layers. And at this point, we'll let Photoshop do its stuff. And what it'll do is go through a very short process that it will utilize the AI built into Photoshop 22 to align the details and context of the images themselves. And now we're finally ready to do the focus stack. So let's go up again to edit. We've still got our three layers selected and we'll go to the auto blend layers. And what we'll do is simply select stack images. Once we click OK, again, it will look at the content and put the context of the different layers and create a series of masks that will overlay each other. It will create a new layer specifically for our final image. And here it is. So this is the merged image. You'll see that we have the masks here. Each of these represents the areas of the image that are in focus and the one that is used for the final merged image. So what you can see here is both the foreground and the background and the midground are all now in focus for our final image. And now we can save the image for further post-processing if desired. We can save it either as a TIFF or a PSD file with and without the layers contained within it. I save my file as a TIFF and you'll notice that it's immediately in Lightroom coming to the collection of the original images. So now we can go in and select that TIFF file and jump into our develop module. And now that we're in the develop module, we can actually check that everything is in focus. The foreground is nicely in focus for us, as is the leaves in the background and the trees. We can see the texture in the trees right into the distance. And because we did our image editing at the beginning so that we could visualize the end image, we don't really need to do any further adjustments. We may just want to do a little bit of tweaking. At this point, pretty much the only thing I really want to do is to crop this image for use so we could change the aspect ratio. So for five may be applicable so that we've got the trees in the distance just cut off the front or maybe even a 1-1 one -one image. And so, but we know at this point that we now have everything in focus. 
I hope you found this useful. Please check out my other videos, tips, techniques and galleries and feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the future. Thank you very much for your time.